this is Erin with MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to use our MCP Quick Clicks. I'm going to start with a brief overview of how to install the presets into Lightroom. For a more in-depth tutorial, watch our video devoted to installing presets into Lightroom and using our mini Quick Clicks free collection for Lightroom. In general, to install your actions, you will want to open your Lightroom preferences. If you're on a PC, you'll find preferences under your edit menu. If you're on a Mac, they'll be under your Lightroom menu. Open preferences, go to the presets tab and click on show Lightroom presets folder. Once this explorer or finder window opens, Click on the Develop Presets folder and paste your new presets inside of Develop Presets. Then close your Finder or Explorer, close the Preferences window, and restart Lightroom. After it opens again, you'll see your new presets in the Develop Module Presets panel. Now, in Lightroom 4, there is no difference between presets for JPEG and RAW. This is unlike prior versions of Lightroom. So if you have upgraded your Lightroom as well as your presets from versions 2 or 3, you might have multiple folders here. The ones that end in RAW or JPEG are your earlier versions. The ones that end in PV12 are your Lightroom 4 presets from MCP. Same goes for MCP's mini quick clicks. So again, whether you are editing a JPEG or a raw photo, you can use the same preset and you'll want to use the ones that end in PV12 in Lightroom 4. So let's start with a brief tour of these presets for those of you who are not familiar with them. We have five groups here. Each of them begins with a four digit number. 0001 is our building blocks collection. And inside of building blocks, you have white balance adjusters and exposure fixers. For each section, you've got a reset that will reset the presets in that section only. So for this one, you can reset the white balance. And then here, you've got a preset for resetting exposure. Section two is our color section. We've got various resets here to adjust your color settings. And then we've got quite a few groups of presets within our color collection. The first group is clean edits. And the first thing to know is that your results are going to vary based on the photo. So even though most of the presets in this clean edit section are color pops with a slight contrast boost, um, just be aware that it might depend on the photo. So after clean edits, we've got soft and dreamy, which have a softer look to the images. The warm and sunny presets are in fact all warmer. If you've got an image that is cool, you might not even need to adjust your white balance if you're wanting to warm it up. The cool twist urban section contains urban looks with cross-processing. Vintage and haze are pretty similar. There's gonna be a lot of crossover in those sections. We've got old camera looks and a faux HDR section. And then finally, silhouette enhancers. These are for sunset silhouette photos where you want to make the silhouetted portion darker and the sunset portion more vibrant. The roulette wheels will actually change the tones in the sunset. So now I'm going to close the color group and go down to number three, the black and whites. The first thing to know about the black and whites is that if you have played with color presets, you'll need to first click on this reset button to use the black and white presets. Otherwise your black and whites might have a tone applied to them which you don't want. Section one here is choose your base black and white style. So we've got lots of looks here. And then after you choose your base black and white, you can choose a tint to apply to it if you want a colored tint applied to it. 
you can use the bring back the color section to create a vintage image. So one where the colors are desaturated but not fully black and white. Section four is our finishing enhancers. If you want a plain, clean edit, you might only need section one, the white balance and exposure, and section four, the finishing enhancers. Within section four, we have the blowout buster, which tries to protect your highlights and recover blown out areas. Fill light is like a fill flash. Booster shots increases the contrast of your image. The crisp section increases the details and clarity. And soften is just the opposite. It will make your image look softer and smoother. Color dimmer will make colors that are maybe too vibrant a bit less vibrant. The haze lifter is going to tone down hazes that you pick up in your photography. Film grain will add a bit of texture to your image. Silence the noise reduces noise. We've got sharpening and then a series of various vignettes and frames. We've got dark vignettes, white vignettes, and frames, both in black and white. You can only use one vignette or one frame at a time. Section four, in addition to being used only with section one to produce a clean edit, can be used with the color and black and white sections to refine the look of any preset. Section five is our Quick Clicks Customizer. If you decide that you like a series of presets applied together, for instance, a given white balance plus a given color preset plus a certain vignette, you can save your own MCP combination. So after you've applied those three presets, you simply right click on a customizer that you haven't used and select update with current settings. Once you click on that, you'll select the various settings that you want to be applied to every photo when you use custom design number one. Then you would hit update to create your own preset combination. We also have a video dedicated just to these quick clicks customizers if you need more information. Okay, let's start using these presets. We are going to begin with this photo from Kelly Roper Photography. I'm going to close the sections that I'm not using right now. Now the first thing I notice is that this photo is a little bit underexposed, so I'm going to open my building block section. Notice as I hover my mouse over the presets, Looking in this navigator window, you can get a preview of what the photo would look like with that preset applied. So looking at two-thirds stop or one-third stop, one and a third, I think that adding one stop of light to this photo is going to be perfect. And now I am going to play with some of the Quick Clicks color presets. So there's picture day, outgoing, campfire. As you see, I'm just clicking away. The presets are stackable so that as you apply presets in section two, they do not override the corrections you've done in section one. So your color presets do not change exposure or white balance. And after you apply colors, color presets, you can tweak them using the presets from section four, the finishing enhancers. However, the presets within section two do override each other. So for instance, if I hit picture day and then outgoing, all I'm looking at is outgoing here. I'm not looking at some new combination of picture day plus outgoing. So I like to just kind of click through the presets and see which ones I like the best. Now, because there's so many, it might be hard to remember which one you want to use on your final photo. So an easy way to compare your favorites is to create a snapshot. So I know I like 
outgoing. I think that's one of my final choices. So I'm going to type Command or Control N on my keyboard to create a new snapshot. I'm going to call this outgoing. And then I'm going to look at some of the others. Wishes is okay. Um, Bahamas. I do like Bahamas, so I am going to type Command or Control N again to create a snapshot. Artsy Ellie is often a nice one. Don't care for that on this image quite so much, though. How about Marco Polo? Yeah, I like that one a lot. So I'm going to create a new snapshot with that one by typing again Command or Control N and calling it Marco Polo. And now I can scroll down on the left under my presets section and see in the snapshots panel, I've got my three favorites to choose from. So this is an easy way to narrow down the looks that you like. I think out of these, I'll stick with Marco Polo here. Now to finish this edit, I am going to go to section four, my finishing enhancers. Doesn't really have any blown highlights, so I'm not too worried about those, but I think I will add some additional contrast. And I think that booster shot light is just right for this photo. I think I'll probably increase the crispness as well. Now keep in mind that crispness and softness are opposites, so you can't use both of them. And then if I wanted to run noise reduction, for instance, I could come down here and hit silence the noise. That's probably not an edit that you can see on the video. I'm going to finish up with a vignette and just hovering the cursor over the preset, I think I will go with number one, Burnt Edges V1 here. I think that's a really nice look for this photo. Now, if I want to compare a before and after, I use the slash key that is above the enter key on the keyboard. So there's before, and we took this photo to this edit just using a few quick clicks of the presets. Now, let's make this same photo black and white. I'm going to scroll up here to the black and white section. And remember, the first thing that you do when using a black and white is hit the reset to use black and white presets so that we can get rid of any toning that's been applied to the image. And now I can just look at the various black and white conversions by clicking in the section one here. And I think Parfait Glass is a great one to go for. And now I can play with the tones if I want to add toning to the image. So that's chocolate chip, toffee, cherries, jubilees, a nice red, black cherry, and I think I like that, so I'll stay right there. So you can have fun being creative and making the looks that you want out of these presets. And again, if I decide that I like this particular treatment of parfait glass with black cherry, I can go down to section five, the customizers, and create my own custom preset. So I can update it with current settings, and then I can name it Parfait Glass plus Blueberry or whatever I want to name it that will remind me. Now for the next photo, I'm going to go to this image by Haley Rotner. And the first thing I notice is that it's got an exclamation point at the bottom. That means that the photo was previously edited in Lightroom 2 or 3, so one of the prior versions. This exclamation point reminds me that the process version is not the current version. I can convert it to the current version in the camera calibration section by pulling down this menu and selecting current, or any of my color presets or the black and white styles will update it, as well as several of our other presets. So for instance, if I were to go and apply the Bermuda preset, the camera calibration would be updated and our exclamation point goes away. Now I am going to go to reset all on this photo. So to begin our edit of this photo, I think that the exposure is good, but our white balance is a bit cool. So just hovering over the presets, I see that in the shade warms it up. 
cloudy day warms it up nicely, maybe not as much as in the shade. Daylight and sunshine is looking too cool again. So I'm going to select cloudy day. I don't need to adjust the exposure at all on this photo. And now I'm going to go down here and apply the Best Friends preset. I like Best Friends, but I'm just going to keep on playing. Sugar and Spice is nice. It makes the photos a bit more vivid. Hi-Ho the Cherio is a nice conversion. Makes the photo look warmer and almost fall-like. And then Little Miss Sunshine. That's a nice look too, except now the photo is too bright. So if this is the look I want to go with, I'm just going to return to my exposure section and remove two-thirds a stop or one-third. I think two-thirds a stop is the way to go. So if I wanted to finalize the edit, I would go to section four, the finishing enhancers, and maybe apply a little bit of sharpening. And now my edit is complete. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can watch the other videos about Lightroom on mcpactions.com or contact Erin at Erin, E-R-I-N, at mcpactions.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy your presets.